what I began to do is create videos that are kind of like five minute professional de development is the way that I put it. So teachers are able to either tune their TVs to channel 11 or get on the server and pull up the video and within five minutes they're able to get a quick kind of blurb about whether it be blogs using those in their classrooms, podcasting, vodcasting, things along those lines. The teachers love it because they can pull it up at their convenience. They're not locked into coming in and sitting in a training session. Also, they can pause my video, break off and go look at whatever it is that I'm talking about and come back and finish watching the video. So that's a great thing that they have control over. The second project was with the fourth grade class I just mentioned. And it was getting them to take an assignment, answer questions on a science section that they had learned, just taking a test over, and then write a composition which would then be recorded on flip video. And so we had first shot for two paragraphs, but that seemed to be a little too much for the kids, so we got them to shoot either paragraphs or answer questions one by one with the team leader holding a flip video camera and asking alternately all the kids a question and mediating that. So we had five groups, each with a camera, and what that's supposed to help them with is phonemic awareness and also with fluency. It helps the kids be able to note mistakes that they wouldn't be able to note even if someone pointed them out, to be able to hear themselves and whether or not they're intelligible or not. Can you understand them? Can they not? They could pick themselves apart better than anybody else. Well, it's engagement. That's the big thing about it with kids. You're living in the 21st century, but yet before this time period, we were trying to use 20th century tools in order to give them access to the curriculum. Now we're able to engage those kids in a medium that they can find themselves interested in. Well, I feel like I used to just use like the um, computers just as practice, whereas now it's more of an instructional tool, not just practice. It's actually part of the main direct instruction. Really, when, when you had an intern at your school, you had an appointment to meet her every week at a certain time, and you knew what you wanted to ask, and it was personal and appropriate for your needs and for your class. And that is the most important thing. And you got what you needed right then and there. I think it's encouraged us all to, to want to do more to, on our own, to, to kind of get courage to, to reach out and try some of these things and, and try things that we hadn't done before just because of the encouragement. He troubleshoots a lot of stuff. And, you know, I can't get this. Well, did you try this? Just a push of a button and they go, oh, I didn't realize that. And just teaching the te teachers how to fix things that might be. And I, I know sometimes that's not part of his job description, but he goes above and beyond what he needs to be doing to make things better. And that, to me, one, is a great employee, and two, is wanting to help and do something to make things better for everybody. Kids, teachers, myself, everybody. This is a very extremely worthwhile investment because you know that you're making a significant difference for the teacher and her ability to um, use the technology and her ability to use technology in the classroom is going to make the students learning and involvement and engagement so much more uh, advanced and that they will be making a very big difference and uh, that's if you're going to support something you want to support something that is going to be important to our young children because they are the future leaders and hey let's make it work I definitely think it's a necessary position because what happens with a lot of teachers and with a lot of these new technologies is they get a brief training and then they never get follow-up. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of teachers have things that they're interested in, they want to use, but you know they don't have the support to really use them. So I would say that most of the teachers I've worked with would probably tell you that that right there has just been the biggest thing that I've been able to kind of connect the dots between what they want to do and the technologies they have and make it happen. Recently we formed a partnership with DOT uh, and one of the things that really has been beneficial to us is now we're able to provide members of our community uh, a sense of computer training in the areas of just basic computer skills to the more advanced arts of looking at how they might be able to do video interviews or video conferencing. This enables a population that's typically left behind, that has a great divide in terms of the technological advances that our new century provides. Now people in the poor communities have an opportunity to still play catch up. 
And that's with, without doubt the biggest value that DOT brings to this table. Some of them tutor, some of them help out at local hospitals and nursing homes. As far as community service is concerned, it's a very important component to me of this internship and in terms of just the world in general. I definitely think it's important for people to be involved in their community because without involvement, how are you going to change anything? You may complain about what's going on in your neighborhood or where, what the kids are doing, that they're not you know, occupying their time with something constructive, but if you're not involved, how can you say anything about it? I get to serve the community. Um, a lot of times we take for granted what people know and what people don't know. So as an AmeriCorps member, I get to reach the people that don't know things that are sometimes everyday knowledge to me. Mm -hmm. So my, the thing I enjoy the most is reaching those people that don't know, you know, because when they do they're like, oh man, that was great. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, a big impact in the teachers, the schools, and that falls through and trickles to the children as a better education and better, a better community all around. So it's a great project. You're laying the groundwork for a long-term improvement in our schools and in kids' futures and in their skills. I think once I leave the school or once I finish my internship, the teachers will definitely stay motivated to continue the technology in the classroom just because they see how the kids react to it and they see how the grades increase and the behavior improves and so they want to continue that in future years. I mean, any teacher will want to have a less stressful day at work. I would say it has been really good, a good thing for us and uh, I think it would be a valuable asset to any, any school that would be interested in, in improving their technology. And, and you can't just say, oh, my teachers all know this because you don't know, you know, and if you can reinforce things and help them, it's always a, a big plus in the, the classroom and, and the personal development of uh, school development and staff development of that teacher. I think it's definitely been sustainable. I mean, I can't think of one person on the faculty that does not use the board on a daily basis. I mean, I think everybody uses it, is comfortable with it. I think it's making a difference in this community, in Mississippi Delta, as well as the state of Mississippi as a whole.